I am Natasha Sedlic, Chairman of Adriatic Institute for Public Policy. I would like to share with you today five broad areas that need to be closely monitored in Croatia by your Atlantic institutions. Firstly, establishing an independent judiciary. Second, protection of property rights. Third, free and fair elections. Fourth, free media. And fifth, transparency and accountability in public finances. Let's start with establishing an independent judiciary. What needs to be done is following. Reduce the significant backlog of unresolved court cases, which run around one million. Confiscate illicit enrichment from former and current politicians and cronies, which amount to billions of euros. And most importantly, send visiting judges and prosecutors from countries with a strong rule of law tradition, who would assist local honest judges and make sure that the rule of law is upheld, backlog court cases reduced, restitution of private property confiscated during communism of the past 20 years, seize the assets amassed to illicit enrichment, and hand out final convictions in the ongoing cases of political corruption, which include money laundry and embezzlement cases involving government officials. Protection of property rights. We need restitution of property confiscated during communism to the original owners. Property that cannot be physically restituted should be compensated through a different asset of the same market value or in cash at market price. Repeal the golf law which proclaims golf activity of strategic value for the country and allows expropriation of private property for the purpose of building a golf course. Establish a legal framework which will ensure the protection of property rights. Free and fair elections. Remove 970,000 illegal votes from the current voter list. Croatia's citizens demand a clean voter list free media. What needs to be done is depoliticize state-owned media or privatize it. Broadcast TV and radio, HRT, as well as print media Vjesnik. Eliminate advertising by the state to both state-owned media and commercial media outlets in which media then is captured. Eliminate criminal offense for journalists, which is clearly a deterrent for independent voices to publish and broadcast issues on corruption. And finally, transparency and accountability in public finances. Transparent reporting of all government expenditures on the Internet, searchable by amount, beneficial and purpose. Transparent reporting of all contracts in which government is a party to a contract on, on the Internet, like privatizations, public-private partnerships, purchases and sales. And sanctioning of conflict of interest, confiscation of assets gained by current and former public officials who are abusing their position to obtain illegal monetary gain. Croatian citizens support these principal recommendations. I encourage you to share this video with your professional and social networks. I thank you for your time. Please visit us at adrioticinstitute.org and Adriatic Institute's Facebook page.